I'm Kate Vanden Havel. I'm a pediatric pathologist at uh, uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital. In April of 2019, I was diagnosed with a meningioma. Um, I found myself uh, in what felt like very random situations, not uh, understanding what people were saying to me, and it, and. At one point, I sort of serendipitously realized that it was be uh, that it was because I couldn't hear out of my left ear. One uh, one of the things that you learn in medical school is that uh, unilateral, one-sided hearing loss is is it's often more uh, of a concern than than uh, both-sided hearing loss. Uh, and ENT said, "Oh, we got to get a get a got to get an MRI." And I had an MRI at 8 a.m and by 4.30 p.m. they were calling me back with the results. Um, and you know, they, de they described to me over the phone, you know, it's this uh, three centimeter mass in your left CP angle, and that it seemed to be, invol uh, it seemed to be involving the uh, auditory nerve on that side. And it had some features on the imaging that were uh, that were most predictive of a of a benign tumor, and you know I w uh, went to go see a surgeon at uh, University of Cincinnati who said, you know, this is this is big enough. I really feel like we need to operate, and he started listing off the the nerves that were running right in in the area of this tumor, and. You know, I thought back to my first year of medical school when we learned the cranial nerves and what they do, and I thought to myself, oh man, I could have trouble swallowing. Um, I'm, I very much enjoy singing. I could never sing again. Um, to say nothing of the fact that I, you know, was almost guaranteed not to hear. I knew that, you know, this was not a situation that even uh, the most skilled of neurosurgeons faces on a daily basis. I. Uh, reached out to a friend of mine from uh, from medical school who is a neurosurgeon and this person recommended Dr. Cohen quite strongly she, you know she she was giving some serious consideration because like me she realized that technical skill was going to make all the difference in the world here so she was she was thinking to who she was aware of that would be that would likely be the best fit and she was like no you have to go see Dr. Cohen and you know I I went into surgery thinking oh you know this is this, this could be it for sev uh, several, uh, you know, functions that are near and dear to my heart. It, while it's incredible, it's incredibly normal to feel uh, to feel scared of almost any surgery. This, I mean, this one really felt felt like a big risk. And ultimately, when I woke up uh, from surgery, which was uh, both significantly shorter than anyone in my family expected, uh, but also significantly less complicated than we were concerned about it being. Um, I woke up and everything felt like it had before and that was just amazing. And you know, now I, you know, I went back to work within five weeks. Since then, my husband and I have adopted a beautiful baby girl and I'm able to be an a, a awesome, very normal mom with a way, a, a, way more, a way more normal life than I ever expected after. Considering the the complexity of the surgery and the the like the the real technical skill required, you know, I'm uh, just so thankful to be doing as well as I'm doing, and and uh, you know, I I can't thank Dr. Cohen enough. <laughs>